welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at an Airbus A380-800 in the current livery of Emirates. As always we start off with the box and here we can see the box has been given a special Emirates design as any Harper Wings aircraft from Emirates has. At the front we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside and we also have the Emirates branding. Then on the back side we have a very nice rendition of the aircraft itself and some additional information. So that's it for the box, let's take a closer look inside and at the aircraft model itself. And here she is, the Airbus A380-800 in the current standard livery of Emirates. Now Harper Wings has released a ton of Emirates aircraft models and most of them with really nice special liveries. The only problem with those is they are often outdated once the aircraft model is released. So today we will just take a look at the standard livery aircraft model. And as always we start off with the tail section. Here we can see on the vertical stabilizer we have a stylized version of the flag of the UAE. And then on the fuselage we have the full registration code. If we move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft you can see along the fuselage the writing of Emirates. Next to that we have the airline name in Arabic and underneath Emirates we have the web address of the airline. The most significant detail around the cockpit windows are the window wipers which have been added and just underneath the cockpit windows we have the aircraft type specification. From there we can then move to the engine nacelles which look really nice with the Emirates branding on and also look at the engine itself here on the back side that's really nice but also if you look into the engines we can see the fan blades and that does also look really nice on the aircraft. Of course everything seems really large on the A380 but the wings especially are massive and they have a lot of nice details. Now if we take a look at the top side of the wings we can see here all the different flaps, slats and spoilers. So that's it for the top side of the wings. Let's take a look at the underside because that's also pretty decent where we also have the full registration code of the aircraft once more. And then we can of course also see the Emirates branding once more here on the belly of the aircraft. Unfortunately, it has been spoiled a little bit by a hole added into the fuselage by Harper Wings for a stand which has not been included with this aircraft. So the detail on the belly has been spoiled a little bit, but really well executed are the details around the winglets where we also have the Emirates branding once more. And then almost unnoticed is this latest addition to the A380, this new detail here, the backpack and the back for Wi-Fi on board. Now this is a detail that is being added on more and more aircraft throughout the Harper Wings product line and normally it is something that is really noticeable. On the A380 because of the size of the aircraft this little bump just seems to disappear but it is there and that is really nice. And then last but not least we also have the doors to the cargo compartment here in the back side of the aircraft and here in the front side of the aircraft. So there we have it. It only took me 179 episodes to get to an Emirates A380, which seems a bit strange considering that Emirates by far is the largest operator of the A380. But I finally got around to it and I am not disappointed. It is a really nice aircraft model. Now, as I mentioned, HEPA has released a lot of Emirates aircraft models over the years and many of them with special liveries. But unfortunately, because HEPA often is quite slow in releasing the aircraft models, many times the special liveries are simply outdated once they are released. So it seems a little bit of a waste of money to buy them, in my honest opinion. But this aircraft model, as I said, is really nice. The print quality is excellent and also the physical details are really nice. And of course, the addition of the little backpack, the antenna in the back is really nice to see on the A380 now as well. Now with that, we've reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. That would be very nice. Or if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And don't miss out on the next episode of Review, where we will take a closer look at an Airbus A320neo in the livery of Scandinavian Airlines. Now, until then, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.